The National Youth Council, according to its members, is responsible for advocacy and monitoring matters related to Uganda's youth. The chairperson, Liliana Baer, says they have been rendered redundant because they have no funds. Instead of government giving 50 billion to the Electoral Commission to conduct elections, of which we know that is not even what they use totally, you, you can use just a quarter of that money. So why not government allocate this 50 billion to the Youth Council and let them conduct the elections and use this money for their operations? The members also showed a letter signed by President Museveni dated 7th December 2017, directing the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development to increase their budget allocation from 1 billion to 3 billion shillings. They claim there has been no response from the Finance Ministry to the effect. If it's not honored by the Ministry of Finance, and if the issues of young people are not going to be captured in this coming budget, as national youth leaders, we are going to mobilize young people across the whole country to ensure that the day when the minister is supposed to present to read the budget before parliament, we are going to grab his briefcase to ensure that, so that we see what he will read, present before the members of parliament if our issues as young people are not captured in the budget. They are also concerned about the high levels of unemployment in the country. The people who are concerned with issues of giving out jobs, the human resource officers, and the different ministries should avoid discriminating young people in, in terms of tribes, in terms of political party, in, term of, in terms of what or who they are. Away from that, the Youth Council wants government to reprimand the health facilities listed to have been in possession of fake hepatitis B drugs. So we need to see that government takes a step on punishing. because. I mean, the young people are the ones who will suffer in future in case this hepatitis B vaccine has got greater impacts in the nearby future. Walter Mwesije, NTV.